everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm gonna be checking out Backrooms level 998. Wait, Brugly, haven't you done this before? Yes, you might remember that I actually went over this level on the channel last year, but since then, a ton has changed about this level. Lots has been discovered and figured out, and plus, I just make better videos now. So, thank you for clicking on this video. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get into it, shall we? Also, help my second channel get to 50K by the end of the year, please. Thank you. So, Backrooms level 998 is now classified as a class variable difficulty because its safety, security, and entity count can change randomly depending on where you're at in the level. Before this, the level was actually classified as a class 5, so it's a pretty new change. The level itself is a blank flat plane that expands out in all directions, and it's split up into three distinct zones or areas, which I'll be going over in a minute. Now, the main and biggest plane of the level looks like it's made out of clouds, but that's just an illusion because the whole thing is table flat. It's not puffy clouds, it's flat. But an image of clouds has been stamped into the floor somehow, and the texture of this floor is kind of like a wool in a way. It's rough and bumpy, but it is table flat, and there's literally no change in elevation. Now, this level is unlike most other levels when it comes to the entrances, because every entrance to this place brings everyone to the same spot which is at the bottom floor of a big concrete stairwell. Now, there are eight flights of stairs in total, and it's at the very top of the stairs where you can see the big cloud floor thing. And at the top of the stairs, there is a blank empty room that has that doorway to look out. And in this room, there's something pretty sad, I gotta say. Along the floor of the room, there are a bunch of pebbles that have been lined up and kind of thrown into the corner. These pebbles and stones are kind of like mementos or tokens of people who have willingly traveled here, and they left them as a kind of a reminder to those who were coming, you know, that they've been here and are gone now. It's kind of like people who leave those locks chained into fences. It's the same thing. Kind of sad, man. So when you go out of the doorway of this room and you look into that huge plane of cloud wool floor deal, you can actually look back at the room you just came out of and you'll see that it's just a small plain box, like a Minecraft house. There's literally nothing on it. It's just a plain, small, square room. The roof of this box room is actually a skylight, and you can see the skylight all the way from the bottom staircase level, which is pretty cool. Now, you can walk on this flat cloud plane thing for a long time, specifically around 30 kilometers, or 18 miles to be exact, and it's after that distance when the level will start to change. The perfectly white cloudy floor that you're standing on will start to morph into a dark and gray floor, and the blue sky above you will start to shift into a gloomy gray sky. This is the second zone of the level, the gray zone. At this point, a breeze will start to blow that makes the area freezing cold, like really cold. And the further you go into it, the darker and colder and more dangerous it'll get. And it's not just dark skies and breezes that you're gonna have to worry about. There's entities here too, people. There are other things, which I'll get into in a second, but the entities that are here are mainly smilers and skin stealers and dollars and that type of thing. But there are also unknown and undocumented humanoid entities that have spawned here too. People have no idea what they are, but they've seen them in the distance. The entities seem to not be interested in you, and they kind of just walk around without chasing you. It's like they don't even see where you're at, but it would still be scary to see all of them, and they're aggressive if you kind of instigate a fight. Like, if you run up to one and push it, it's gonna fight back. But if you ignore them and just give them their space, you should be okay. Now, as I just said, going deep enough into this gray section will eventually lead you into what most people think is the last area of the level. It's just called the Black Haze. At this point, the floor and the sky are both black. Bad weather will start to appear, storms will start to rage, and the wind will be blowing super aggressively. Like, it'll be blowing so hard it can knock you off of your feet. 
and it'll rain for long periods of time. There's been thunder and lightning strikes seen here as well, and overall it's just this really turbulent and volatile area. It's also believed that in the stormy section, there are way more entities than in the gray section, so you're gonna need to avoid those too. Now, if you're crazy or determined or just dumb and decide to keep walking through this black section, you'll eventually get to the quote unquote edge of the level, which is just a wall of black clouds. No one knows how far out this wall is because it's kind of just hearsay and myth and legend that it exists. But at this point, the storms are said to get worse and the winds are said to be like a tornado. And no one knows what's past this black cloudy point. There's been no pictures past it or anything. And the last picture that we have is one of the black cloud wall. And as I said, no one knows what's back there. But there are some theories on what is back there and I'll get into those now. There was a rumor that started a long time ago in the back rooms that level 998 is some sort of dangerous trial that you can complete to get to a safe haven level, or even to escape the back rooms as a whole. But since no one's past that black cloud wall, no one even knows if there's anything back there. It's said that most people who have come to this level have been adventurers or people who have just lost all ambition and are seeking a final resting spot. So they come here knowing that they might not get out. It's pretty sad, man, I gotta say. But I don't care how bad it gets to me in the back rooms, I'm not gonna try to go in the black zone. It seems terrifying. The other main theory is that there's just nothing behind the black cloud wall. But that's no fun now, is it? It's pretty easy to enter this level because there are an estimated 200 entrances. That's right, 200. But the entrance is a simple double white metal door that will appear on random levels. You just gotta open the door, walk through, and you'll be sent to the bottom of the staircase here on level 998. Now the exit portion isn't as certain because there's no for sure way to leave. Like I said, some people think that past the black zone, there's a safe haven that's really relaxing and you could be there forever, kind of like a heaven, but no one knows if that's real or not. People could be crazy, but most people that come here know what they're getting into and they know that there's no escape. So they kind of just accept that they're going to be stuck here or that they won't make it past the storms. Let me know in the comments what your theories are about this level. I mean, what do you think's past the black wall of clouds? Why do you think the level exists? Who do you think made it? My personal theory is that something important is behind the clouds. And one day, we might know if that's true or not. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I know I've already gone over this level, so some people probably aren't gonna watch the video. It got rewritten, so there's a lot of lore and a lot of new information about it, so I thought I would make a renewed video. And if you did enjoy and you are still watching, I appreciate you. Comment Cloud Brugly if you are still watching. That way I know you're a real one. And make sure to comment which levels you'd like to see me go over in the future. I mean, I'm always looking for new suggestions, and, and if there's a good chance that if you comment a level, I'll eventually go over it. That's where I get most of my suggestions from. I do want to thank you all so much for the support. Seriously, the channel is just growing insanely fast, and I'm eternally grateful for all of your love. Thank you so much for everything. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you had a great day. Tell somebody you love and appreciate them, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.